it's a good feeling. It keeps the guys going. It's you know it's momentum. But but we you know we treat these customers just like they're ours here in Oklahoma. And all new here at nine, OG&E proudly showing up to help uh, Houston after Hurricane Barrel. We watched as a hundred linemen loaded into their trucks and started their journey around 6 a.m. This is where we find Cameron Seibert, who talked with OG&E to learn more about how they plan to help. Good morning. This is that parking lot where we watched just a few hours ago as those linemen made their final preparations. They went over the game plan, did a roll call, and then they jumped in their trucks and took off from the Warren Theater here and in more jumping right onto I-35 as they make their trip down to Houston. More than 40 trucks with 100 employees all making this two-week trip to Houston to help with the restoration efforts. These are linemen from Oklahoma who volunteered to go on this trip. Houston, of course, dealing with widespread damage and still more than a million people who are without power during extreme summer heat. It's, it's really a, you know, a good feeling to be able to help like this. You know, I think it's a, a, true, a true testimony um, to what Oklahoma Strong is. You know, when, when we get these calls, um, you know, it's, you know it, it is a volunteer uh, opportunity, uh, but we do volunteer, and I think it just supports what, who we are here in, in the state of Oklahoma. So OG&E says it's possible their teams could stay in Houston longer than two weeks if the need is there. They left about 6 o'clock this morning, 100 linemen from right here in Oklahoma going to help our neighbors down south in Texas. In more this morning, Cameron Seibert, KOCO 5 News.